Hi, I'm Aisha. Welcome to my channel. For those of you who are returning, welcome back. I am so excited. When I say I've been waiting months for this cleanse and it's finally here. Now, I must say, I am a little on the fence because I just started my workout regimen and my goal has been to build muscle. So every juice cleanse that I have done in the past, I found that although I get great benefits of weight loss, feeling heightened energy, mental clarity, skin digestion improvements, all of the things, right? I realized that I lost muscle mass. So this one I'm going to do a little different. I'm going to be starting by eating and drinking watermelon juice, but I am going to also supplement this time around. Um, so here I have this multivitamin by Garden of Life Organics, and it's a woman wants daily multi-food, whole food multivitamin. So I thought this was a really good addition, especially because um, I'm getting all of my vitamins and nutrients out of whole foods, which I really love. I haven't seen that in a multivitamin yet, so I will be taking vitamins during this cleanse. Um, and I may honestly see if there's some ways to potentially add some type of protein. Um, I'm going to listen to my body in this go round. Um, so I'll be sharing all of the updates there because I will be working out during this cleanse. So stay tuned if you're interested to see what that looks like, what the results are, and, um, and we'll just get it going from there. Although I have two big seeded watermelons here i'm only cracking open one right now my intent is to make it through two weeks so i may have to buy some more watermelon but we'll get there when we get there <laughs> so for this video i'm going to go ahead and crack one of these bad boys open we're going to be juicing some of it as well as collecting some of it and i'll share kind of my um my tips that i use to get the best Part of the watermelon for consumption. All right, so anyways, I'm gonna get started by cracking one of these bad boys open. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and cut this up. To make it a little easier for me, I'm going to cut this into threes since it is a pretty large size watermelon. Um, and then I'll go from there. So let's start with cutting this side. Oh, oh, oh you gotta put your... <laughs> Put your back into it. Okay, Mia. Look at this. Oh, look at God. Okay, let's put this to the side here. Show y'all this pretty little flesh. Okay, it's gonna fall. Well, I tried. Oh, I'm gonna stand for this one. Hey, using my abs and everything. for the next one it's probably best just to cut it in half Whew. okay it's nothing like seeded watermelon I'm telling you i need a sturdier cutting board so this may work out to my benefit because i don't know if you guys know but watermelon seeds is some of the highest protein content for a plant-based diet or people that are vegan for example if you don't want any meat protein watermelon seeds is amazing Ooh. again you gotta put your back into it Goodness. i like to cut mines in half because i like my chunks to be a decent size i feel like this cutting board is going to be the death of me <laughs> i need to get another one uh oh so this one looks good. Usually it's easy to, to see the chunks that I want to put in the juicer versus the ones I want to eat. Like this one, do y'all see this? Look how good this looks. Oh my goodness, especially when you refrigerate it. Refrigerate it. Especially when you refrigerate it. It's so good. Look at this. Oh, I cannot wait. Um, and you see pieces like this that kind of have some of the rind and it looks a little bit more transparent and a little more bright. These are usually the pieces that I juice, you know, if I have to decide what to eat, what to juice. I'll be putting these pieces in the juicer, right? And then of course I mix it a little bit with some of them that looks pretty juicy because you want your juice to still have much flavor, right? But I'm assuming that I'm gonna get most of my juice from the edges here. I noticed that when you have the edges of the watermelon, you definitely get more of that, uh, <laughs> um, the, the, the rindy pieces of the watermelon, if that makes sense versus this oh my goodness y'all i'm telling y'all i cannot wait 
it looks like most of this is going to be edible so yeah these all look delicious like this is look oh my goodness i know i keep showing pieces but like oh come on y'all y'all see what i'm talking about the firmness of it too oh once it get nice and chilly oh and if y'all haven't tried it yet squeezing some lime or lemon over the watermelon life-changing i'm telling you life changing so now on to one of my favorite parts just seeing the watermelon honestly i may put the pulp in the watermelon bowl because at this point i'm not wasting anything <laughs> um and it could be eaten yeah especially with the cut up or condensed watermelon seeds i think that would be really nice So I would like to know, have any of you tried a watermelon cleanse before? Whether it be like eating the watermelon for like three days, seven days, whatever, you know, the amount is. Have you, have you tried just, you know, pure watermelon? Um, or maybe watermelon juice? What has been your experience with it? Um, and do you have any advice, right? Is there anything that you would recommend to people who are doing these watermelon cleanses. I feel like the first time I did it was on accident. And I wanna say I was consuming watermelon for a good, maybe six days by itself before adding on other juices to my juice cleanse. And the results were remarkable. Like I was shedding weight, my skin was glowing, I, like everything was just amazing. So this is my first time, you know, doing a watermelon cleanse um, intentionally. <laughs> and for a little bit of a longer period. I'm really curious to see how it turns out and more specifically, if I'm going to have enough energy to continue to work out every day like I've been doing. And just like that, we have our juice. Thank you so much for joining me as I prepped for this cleanse. This is a good starting point to get me started. I have about five jars because I have some extra juice here, um, which I'm probably going to consume now. <laughs> so I have a good amount to get started and then I still have a lot of watermelon left over. Thank you so much for joining me and prepping for my watermelon cleanse. Let me know if there's any questions that you have in the comments below. Um, and we're also going to see how many watermelons it will take to get through this cleanse um, alive. <laughs> right because i will need to eat a little bit more if i'm continuing to work out so um, i'll definitely keep you updated there thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this content and want to follow along on my journey please like subscribe and share the love i would truly appreciate it and i hope to see you all in the next video all right peace and love